What's up everyone, it's Hectic, and I just want to say thank you for the 1,000 followers on TikTok and the 32 subs on the YouTube page so far. Uh, it's hard to believe that Fish and Planet actually blew up like this. I'm so thankful for it. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm using and where we're going today. Uh, I think we're going to go to the Everglades and catch some more redfish. That way... I can show y'all, you know, the easy way to do it, you know, you get the most out of it. We're going to cast a bunch of poles and catch a bunch of fish. So, here we go. Alright, so, first things first, um, and I know I've covered this before, but I'm going to reiterate something because uh, we have a lot of new faces here. And once again, thank you for the 1,000 followers on TikTok, and we have 32 subs on YouTube right now, and that is amazing, and I really appreciate it. So, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm using here. Um, I use this casting spoon a lot. I love the casting spoon. I also really love the bass jig. I love a good bass jig. This is a great one. I use the white bass jig. Um, I get the most hits on it. You know, this is really one of the only ones I've tried so far, but I get a lot of good hits and I catch a lot of trophy, uh, largemouth on it. So, first we'll start. Like I said, I have the Night Feather here, the Golden Edition, and the Esper Slim Golden Edition, and that is in... One of the other videos uh, further down on the page, but it is rated for the 3 to 10 pound line weight as well as a 8 pound drag. We have 8 pound test on it with a silver casting spoon. When you're using this, you want to just give it some good healthy twitches and you're sure to snag a pretty nice bass. Like I said, you do the same thing for the bass jig and I've been really hammering some nice trophy bass on it. Um, not much difference between this and the night feather. Uh, just one pound differences. It's all set up basically the same eight pound test just with a bass rig. Uh, here for the bottom pole we have heavy chaser. That's I use the same setup for both of my bottom poles. We have a heavy chaser here that's rated for 22 to 56 pounds of line weight with a 49 pound drag and we have it equipped it with 41 pound tests with a 43 pound leader. Uh, leaders are good especially whenever you're catching fish that have teeth uh, so that way they don't snap your line as quick. They, you know, they have to get through that leader first which is usually metal. It's going to be a metal leader so it helps out quite a bit. This is another pole uh, that I use sometimes. It's not even set up right now because I really don't use these types of poles. I don't, I don't really like using something um, that you drag the bottom with, like with a worm or a, a grub or something like that. I don't really use it that much. But on it, it's it's a shark caster, a seven foot pole with thirty one to seventy two pound tests on it. Uh, it's kind of overkill to be quite honest. Uh, 70 pound drag on the power uh, power grab 7000. Uh, it's equipped with 69 pound test and a 15 pound three way Texas rig. It's I don't even know why that's on there to be quite honest. Like I just threw stuff on here to get it out of the inventory for right now. Uh, this is some of my bobber poles. They're the same really uh, just two pound difference between the poles um, it's the Brutus's with the Espra double punch reel as uh, equipped for 26 pound drag and 11 to 34 pound line weight we have 20 pound test on it right now which I'm going to be bumping up here pretty soon uh, with a chubby bobber and with a number 16 hook and golf shrimp this is what I use for red fishing this one and this one, they're like I said, they're the same pole, essentially the same pole, the same setup. And this is what I use to go red fishing and catch those monster red drum that you'll see. All right, let's get set up. Let's throw a shiner on this one. Throw a shiner on this pole. Uh, 
that up a little bit. Now we're going to cast this one about right here. Put it right here on the end. This pole, I think I'm going to put some crab. We'll toss it right about here. Oh, let's move that. I want it in the first slot. And shrimp can go on this one. Right here in the middle. But oh, we already got one. Alrighty, let's see. Make sure we're pulling away from him. That way we can get our force against his. Looks like he's coming in pretty easy too. Oh, there he is. That's a redfish. And I haven't even gone to the peak time yet. I, I didn't even switch it. Oh, he's, he's fighting. That's a good one. That's a good starter fish right there. 38 pounds for the first redfish of the day. I like it. That was right here off that lily, right there, right off that top left corner. And that was on crab. All right, and so while we wait for another bite, we're going to go ahead and cast out our Liberty Cast. This is from the 4th of July pack with the 1 4th ounce number 2 bass jig. This is what I like to use to just catch some nice little bass right here in this back cove while we wait for more redfish to hit. Now... Obviously, it's per personal preference, but whenever I'm doing this, and I, if I have a bass snag and one of those redfish poles aren't going off, I replace this pole with a redfish pole, and I pull in that red drum. Because those pay more, they're more valuable, and that's what we're targeting. Oh, and we got us a bass. Oof, he's a fighter. This may be a trophy bass. I'm not sure. Come on. Get over here. Come on, quit fighting me. He's dragging us way out there. Oh, like I said, that redfish drum, uh, uh, redfish drum, redfish pole is starting to go off. So we are going to most likely swap. Which one is that? It's that crab again. So, trophy bass or not, this is what we got. And he seems pretty small. So we may be able to finish off on that bass in a second. Yep, we can continue fighting the bass. Nice. And he's starting to wear out, so we might get him in here pretty quickly.
It's a shame this bass is giving me a lot more than the uh, red drum just did. Come here. Get in here. Almost there. You are so close. Just get to the dock. Come on. Oh, yeah, that is a pretty big bass, actually. You little shit. Get over here. Figured to be a trophy bass. It's a nice six pound bass. We'll go ahead and keep him. Alright, let's recast this pole right here. This crab pole. So far, they've been biting on crab. That's why I like to put some variations out there. Because, you know, they might not want a certain thing. And like I said, I don't even think that I started on a peak time. It's about a peak time. It's getting there. So, once again, while we wait... Go ahead and toss a bass jig out there. Just twitch it like that, stay with a good rhythm. And you are sure to snag something. May not be every cast, but you will grab something. We just snagged fish at the exact same time, but we're going to sacrifice that bass for this red drum. Wow. Alright, we might be able to catch it. And he's still on there. Wow, that's awesome. We'll be fighting this bass for a while. I, I don't know what it is about the Everglades, but these 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 bass are on steroids. Get over here. It may even be a snook. I just don't think that's a bass. I think that's why we're getting so much shit from him. Come here. Come here. Come here. I will yank your lips straight off. Yeah, get that beat down. Go ahead and keep the snook for now. That's not what we really want, but I did pay pretty decent money. But we need to cast this crab right back out there because the crab is hitting right now. Alright, back to that top left lily pad. And into the number one slot of our rod holder. Oh, already. I'm going to wait to cast this bass pole. 
Just gonna see. Oh, all right. Well, I'm gonna cast. I'm watching you. Give it a few little twitches here. So we'll snag us a nice bass. I'd rather catch the bass over the snook. Because this pole really isn't rated to catch snook. Because it takes forever to bring them in. But if you catch a nice trophy bass, it takes about just as long. But the bass sometimes pay a little more. For some odd reason. I don't know. Oh, you bastard! It's not completely bit yet, so we're not going to jump on it quite yet. I usually wait till that bell starts dinging. Because you don't want to strike too early, because then you miss out on it. And I'd hate to miss out on a drum. Because I'm really trying to catch the, the heftiest drum. I want to be in that number one slot on the leaderboard. Come here, bass. Oh, we just pulled the straight out of the water. Come here. Come here. So what we're doing here is basically just money farming. Money and XP farming. Oh yeah, that's a nice little bass right there. Waiting on the bell. Once that bell starts, we're gonna risk losing this bass to catch that drum. Get to the dock. He's, uh, he's giving us the business right now. Come here. Come here. It looks like another trophy bass, honestly. Dude, he's going to drag us all the way back out. Just get to the goddamn dock. <laughs> No, come here. Quit dragging me out. Where's your ass? I got you now, you little shit. Seven pounds this time. Wow. Alright, so... Right now what's happening with this number one pole is this redfish is just messing with it. He's testing it out. He's just biting on it just a little bit, just enough to piss me off. And then he'll take it. Hopefully. Take the, guy, take the damn bait. Take it. Do it. Take it. Well, screw you. How about that? Guarantee as soon as this hits the water, he's going to take it, though. No? Maybe a liar? Ooh. We had a little bite right there. A good steady rhythm here with the twitching. Look at that. Again. We're going to replace. Don't want to risk losing the drum. A bite at the same time twice. Love it. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and switch back to that bass, because he's still on there.
Fish escaped for low line tension. Are you joking? That is the biggest crock of bullshit I have ever seen. Just saying. Line tension my ass. It was taut whenever he was jumping out of the freaking water. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. I'd rather that happen to a bass than a damn red drum. I'll tell you that. Ooh, that was a big hit right there. Are you going to jump in the air and spit the hook out too? Come here. Come here. Where are you going? You can't go too much further that way. Come here. There you go. Now you're learning. Three pounds, 60 XP gain. You see that? And the bass are good for the money, but... Oh, we just leveled up. Look at that. Nice. Speaking of XP. So we unlock some more baits and reels and... Sweet. All right. Uh, so as I was saying, you know, bass are good for the money and stuff, but unless you catch a big trophy or something, you know, within this range right here, the XP just ain't there. Um, you know, your XP is here with the Red Drum as well. You know, these are kind of smaller. You know, this is because of the time that it is right now. The smaller ones are biting. But this trophy, you can catch a couple good trophies. And that's 500 XP right here. And that one's worth 1700 bucks. Um, that's why I target the Red Drum. Oh, nothing here. Oh! Oh, you bastard! That is three times! Oh, I almost just said screw it and reeled it in really fast and... Almost lost a chance on a redfish. Honestly, that looked like a redfish that just peeked out of the damn water right there. But I don't want to lie to you, because honestly, a redfish would have just snapped this pole. This pole is not rated for redfish. Whatever it is, it's uh, hefty. It may be a smaller redfish. I have caught redfish on this pole with the bass jig, but not very often. And redfish don't typically jump, so that may be a snook. And he's just, he's just dragging us out. That's all he's doing. He's just going to mess with us for a while. If this fight takes too long, I'll just have to, like, you know, speed it up a little bit. I'll just time travel here. There we go. That's what I was waiting on. I 
don't know why we're catching so many small reds right now. I know it's the time, but this many small reds? That's crazy. Not too bad. Oh, there's a lot of slack in that line. Yep, I figured that was going to happen. A lot of slack. That's okay. I wasn't too worried about it. Like I said, mainly we want the red drum. That is what we're here for, and that's what we're going to get. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and throw a crawfish on here now. Because we are out of crab. I'm about to buy some more crab. Lost a bass jig right about here. Let's see what happens. Hey everybody. Once again, my name's Hectic. I hope all this helps. Uh, seeing my setup and seeing me actually catch these big red drum on these setups and the trophy largemouth bass that we're going to catch um i really appreciate again the 1000 followers on tiktok and 32 subs on youtube let's keep it going give me more suggestions down in the comments below what do you want me to catch what do you want to see and how i can help you improve your fishing experience here on fishing planet once again thank you my name is hectic and we'll see you on the next one